faith by my deeds. So Paul said there, you ended, you started in the spirit. Say to the guy next to you, you started in the spirit. You've been born again by the spirit. Now you want to end up in the flesh by being circumcised. Then he says, circumcision in 1 Corinthians 7. Circumcision and uncircumcision, oh, it's nothing. But keeping his commandments, keeping God's commandments. Circumcision is nothing. Whether you're circumcised or not, circumcision is nothing. But keeping God's commandments is what you should do. Give God a hand. How will you keep God's commandments? By the grace that is available in Jesus to you. The moment you believe in Jesus, by faith, you receive everything that is available in Jesus. By faith, you believe in Jesus. And in Jesus, everything is available for you to live a godly, powerful, victorious, successful, blessed life. In Jesus' name. Amen. When you take hold of Jesus by faith, everything in Jesus is available to you. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to fast for it, although you fast when the Lord tells you to fast. This is important. You don't fast to get these things from Jesus. They are for free. You receive them by faith. It is by grace. But you fast when He tells you to fast. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So many people think they're going to receive the blessings of God by fasting. You are wrong. You receive the blessings of God for free. But you fast when He leads you into fasting. Fasting is humbling yourself. So do not be mistaken. There's one kind of devil that Jesus said will not come out but by praying and fasting. This is one kind. But it's not the fasting that will cast out the devil. Don't be deceived. Read your scripture. It is not the fasting you will cast out the devil. It is the humbling yourself before God that will cast out the devil. What is fasting? It is humbling yourself. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will and turn away from the wicked ways, I will heal their land. This is a combination. Don't take one scripture and make a doctrine of it. Listen, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Say, humble themselves and pray. Humbling yourself, uh, the, the greatest form of that is fasting. There is nothing so humbling when a man fasts. You all of a sudden realize how weak you are. And then the spirit can take over. Because mankind rely on their own strength. When you fast, if you've been strong before, all of a sudden you fast, you come to realize very, very quickly how weak you are. The strongest man can fast for two days and you see he's a weakling. All of a sudden the strong man is so weak. Many times the stronger man is physically, the less he can fast. Because he's strong in the flesh. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the quickest way for you to find out that you can never rely on the flesh. Your flesh will fail you boom, just like that. The one who rely on the flesh, he will quickly, quickly, See that his flesh can in a day's time fail him like that. You always need something better, stronger to fall back on. It is more important to train your spirit because your flesh can fail you like that. When your spirit is trained, when your flesh, flesh gives way, you've got something to fall back on, which is your spirit, and then your soul, and then your flesh. Your body is the least. Your spirit is the most important. A body can never sustain a spirit, but a spirit will sustain a body. The Bible says the spirit within us, the spirit with, within us, the spirit within us 
will give life to our mortal bodies. Say, the spirit within me will give life to my mortal body. A body can never sustain a spirit, but a spirit will sustain a weak body. When that body is giving way because of sickness and defeat, you can fall back on your spirit. The person whose spirit is strong, he can lay on sickbed of cancer or any other sickbed. He always got something to fall back on. But the one whose spirit is weak and un... He did not exercise. Undeveloped spirit. When he fall on a sickbed, he, he, he just gives up. When his body whom he trusted in give way, he wants to give up because he's got nothing to fall back on. The only way to feed your spirit is with God's word. Man will not live from bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. This is God's word that feeds your spirit. And when Jesus is putting you through fire, he feeds your spirit. He makes your spirit strong so that you've got always something to fall back on in the name of Jesus. Many people start in the spirit and end in the flesh. Many people, God bless them. Great ministries, God bless them in the beginning with the spirit. And then they become a thing, they think that they, they have become something. They think they have arrived, they go over in the flesh. They go over in soul, soul power. Pray, Lord Jesus, feed my spirit this morning with your awesome word. I want my spirit to be strong, to worship you in Jesus' name. Sustain me, Lord, with a willing spirit in Jesus' name. So that when my body gives way and my soul is perplexed, I can fall back and draw from my spirit. And then my body will be revived again. The person whose spirit is strong, his body will not easily give way. His body will be sustained by the spirit. In Jesus' name.